Hello Brickmaster101 to bring you a LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review. Recommended ages are 6 to 12, package number is 79020 and the package name is T Rocket Sky Scrape or something. So this retails for 50 Australian dollars and 30 American dollars. So here is the front of the box. And here is the back of the box. Now let's get on with the set. In this set you do get two instruction booklets and the first one comes with 52 pages of building. There's a little page where you can tick off the minifigs you have. Then on the second one you do get about 24 pages of building. Now let's get on with the minifix. First minifig you get is Crane in a robot suit. And i got to say this minifig is really good. I know you can get it in some other sets but it is just really good. And the Crane does feature some back printing that is pretty imp impressive. Next minifig we get is a mutant bat guy that I don't know how to pronounce his name. And he, overall, he is a good minifig. I really like his torso printing. His headpiece is a little weird. And here is the front. And here is the back. Now we'll get on with the Ninja Turtles. Next minifig you get is Michelangelo. And he is one of the best minifigs out of the whole set. And just really good. One of the best minifigs out of these Ninja Turtle sets. I really like his torso printing. At the back he does come with his shell. And he does feature some back printing. The last minifig you get is the best minifig in this set. Probably out of all these Ninja Turtle sets. It's Donatello in a flight jacket and the jacket just looks amazing. I really like the detailing on it. And the goggles on his headpiece look really good. Ordinary legs and he has his scar, his weapon and yeah. At the back he does feature a shell. And even under his shell comes with some amazing back printing. The first vehicle you get is Crane's spaceship and it's a really good vehicle. Like how it is, just the spin of it. So let's get on with it. So at the bottom you do get flick farm missiles and these landing pads. There's two studs of glow in the dark and here you can open it up and radiation bottles come out. So that's a cool touch but it isn't that amazing. And flick farm missiles. This piece here is really good. It's the first time we've ever got it in a hot pink. So that's really cool for mocks and stuff. Then glow in the dark start and glow in the dark start. Open it up, you got a little cockpit and that is a sticker. Now let's get on with the main part of this set. Before we get on to the main part of this set, we'll just get on with this being Michelangelo's on. And it is this little glider. It isn't that amazing. And I think Lego could have done a better job at it. Like these things do come out and that's pretty much it. So with this vehicle, it is meant to be like a dumpster vehicle, like just made out of stuff off the streets and stuff. And those are all stickers there, and every part of these are stickers. And I actually like these stickers, like they are hard to put on, and if you get it wrong, it might not look that good. But they still are some good stickers, and the detailing here with these stickers is really good so you can fit a pizza behind here and Donatello's scar weapon and he does come with a sticker there to show where to go I'll try to zoom on there yeah and there is here the flame that is really good I like that Technic piece and stuff so it's just really good how they added that and something bad about this set are these wheels, like they're just too small and stuff. There is a play feature here where 
you can put a pizza in there and then flick it out so you can see there. So you get two pizzas, there's a little radiation goo thing there, and then there's flick file missiles. And here at the back of the vehicle, there is a sticker there, and this piece will go with Michael Angelo and just put him there so you can fit that dodgy vehicle in a dodgier vehicle. And the front just looks really good, the detailing with the red parts, just really good. Now I'll get on with my score. Overall, this is a good set and stuff like for $50 or $30. It is actually kind of worth it. But when you get it and you build it and you just go, really, this is it? But then you realize the play features and the minifigs. It's just a good set. So um, for the minifigs, you're getting four, three exclusive minifigs and then Crane. And this is the easiest way to get Crane in a robot suit. So for the minifigs, I'm going to just give it a 95%, just because I like that Donatello minifig a lot. For the build, the build was good, it wasn't stressful, it was pretty simple, so for the build I'll give it an 80%. Then for the playability, because you're getting two vehicles that can fly, and there is a spaceship, so people will like that, I'm going to give that a 85%. So this has been Brickmaster101. Hope you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.